Welcome back with uh, Learning with Luke. It's Luke uh, J at CATI. Uh, today I kind of want to discuss um, how you can bond parts. So if the part is too big to print, and basically what we do is we can bond the parts. Um, and there's different type of cuts that you can do, uh, which will make it easier to bond the parts instead of just a straight line. Right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a part. All right, so what I have here today is basically two different parts. Uh, well, the same part, but we split it in half. Um, and what we did is actually in our programming, we can determine the type of cut we do. Um, so as you can see what we did here, right? Um, what it, that's gonna allow us to do, it's gonna allow us to create the bond a little bit better and a little bit easier, right? So if we were to bond this, we would be using ProWeld, uh, which is a chemical, a chemical agent. Um, we also use epoxies for different types of materials, but this is ASA, um, so I would use the ProWeld on this. And this would actually help me bond this a little bit better, especially with the design cut that we did. Um, and that's something that we do for our customers. Uh, so if you have parts that are bigger than 36 by 24 by 36, we can still print them. We can print them in sections and then bond them later. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, like I said, you know, if you have bigger parts than uh, what we can print, which is 36 by 24 by 36, we can, you know, cut the parts uh, into sections and then we can bond them afterwards, right? So it is something that we can do. So I, I have customers that ask me, hey Luke, I got a part that's 60 inches long. Can you guys get it done? And I explained to them, yes, we can, but we would have to section the parts and then we would bond them. So, and the bond is very strong. It melts the plastic together, basically fuses it together. So um, there's not, you really don't have to worry too much about it breaking at the bond, right? So um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, reach out to us at buildpart uh, at cati.com or directly to me, Luke J at CATI.com. All right, thanks and uh, see you next week.